On a regular Wednesday, November 24th, 1971, this average-looking dude named Daniel Cooper just walked up and bought a one-way ticket for a Northwest Airlines flight. It's a short hop from Portland, Oregon to Seattle, Washington. He was in his mid-40s and wore a suit, an overcoat, brown shoes, a white shirt, and a black tie. Oh, and he's got a briefcase and a brown paper bag with him. Before the plane even takes off, he orders a drink and gives a note to a flight attendant. The kicker? The note says he's got a bomb. He lays out his demands in the note. He wants $200,000 in cash, four parachutes, and a fuel truck ready to refuel the plane. After he gets what he wants, he lets some of the passengers and crew go, but keeps a few on board. Then, the guy slips on some sunglasses, straps on two parachutes along with the cash, and just jumps out of the flying plane. And guess what? No one ever found him. Years go by, and despite a ton of searching, the authorities are still scratching their heads. No one knows who Cooper really is or what happened to him. It's turned into one of the biggest head-scratchers for the FBI and in the whole of U.S. history. 